Aw, poor Nico. <laughs> Oh, Nico. I think I remember something. I remember what I did at the end. I remember putting in the sun. And then everything got really bright. I don't remember a lot of the details. But none of it matters now, does it? Oh, Nico. I just got brought back anyway. Oh, poor buddy. I still have all my shit, though, from before. Interesting. Is the game over now? No, it's... We're moving on. We're in the next area now. Now I have to figure out how to get out of here. Looks like parts of the ground is missing. I wonder if it's safe to walk across those vines. We're going to find out, I guess. They're safe. Anything more outside? No, we go inside from here. I have lost communication with the guardian outside the city gate. The big robot, right? Please help me check on them. I cannot leave my station. All right. All right, I guess we have to go check on them. No, we're not even halfway. This shit, shit's getting serious, guys. Uh-oh. Isn't that the city gate? It's... I just had an idea. Hold on. We're gonna add... This one. Okay. It's... I, I'm not even going to give a Monica voice for any bug inside the squares. Uh, no, I have I have another voice. Alright, you guys ready for this? Please do not approach. The gate is closed until further notice. I think that works. <laughs> There's squares all over the big robot. Ah, uh, that is outside my capacity for help. You may proceed to the deep to the deeper ruins. All right. All right, I gotta go have fun, dudes. Bye, Ray. Thanks for stopping by. All right, we're looking for Cedric. I forget who that is. Is that Bird Boy? Is Cedric Bird Boy? There's more squares now than there were before. I don't recall. Hello, person. Two children reside near here. The pathway is blocked by blocks. Wait a minute. Yes! Yes! I, I was hoping this would happen. I remember something about this. Yeah! <laughs> Never knew it'd be so easy. <laughs> Ow, my foot. Ow. <laughs> oh no, they're home. Oh, uh, what a what a bird. What was bird goes voice? Oh, the door. I knew we'd lose our home eventually, but I wasn't expecting it to happen so soon. Oh, jeez. Are you guys okay? Uh, I'm just gonna go anime protagonist. Oh my stars! You're the savior! Um, uh... It's an honor to meet you! Yes! I'd invite you inside, but as you can see, our home is... It's got squares in it! Yes, Alula, thank you. It's getting everywhere now, isn't it? Hmm? The squares, there are way more than before. Even the gates of the refuge are destroyed now. That didn't, help la that didn't happen last time. Last time? Uh, nothing. I almost let that slip gone. <laughs> Guess I should introduce myself again. My name is Nico. Nico. Oh gosh, would it not be rude to call you by your name? 
No worries, Calibus. How did you know my name? <laughs> Nico? <laughs> You're fucking up right now, dude. I, um, uh, not again. The Messiah just knows these things, Calibus. Right? Yes, of course. Phew. Ah, you, you were saying ab about the gate. Oh, right. Looks like I can't get into the city through the Gale Gate anymore. Do either of you know another way to get in? I remember, I mean, I heard that there's some sort of hidden passage around here somewhere. Oh, the passage to the burial grounds? That's the one. Oh, but I'm not sure if that'll be of any use to here. It's been flooded for a long time and there's no boat. Not to mention the burial grounds itself is pretty far from the city. That's okay, I'd still like to see it. It's the only lead we have. All right, in that case, please follow us. Nico knows all. Let's keep it moving, guys. At least the courtyard isn't affected for now. We usually get to the burial grounds through our friend, but he hasn't been here in forever. Normally this courtyard would meet where we meet up. Hope he comes back soon. Um, I have a hunch. Not the memory desk. Oh, it's not lining up, lining up now. It's a ball. That's mine! It doesn't bounce around as much as it used to, though. I see the clover, so at some point I'm guessing I'm gonna have to use clovers. Wait. Um. It's a clover. We're gonna have to come back here, I guess, once I figure it out. Unless there's something I'm already supposed to have figured out. Fish! Fish! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Good to know. Um, is this a thing? No. I'm I'm kind of lost now, guys. How do I make the journal light up again? I don't know. Last time it lit up because we had a, we had a vision of the our our robot. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna go. Love you all. All right, see you later, Emma Sam. Oh, that was us this time. Um, I'm gonna keep pressing forward for now. Nico. Nico, what's wrong? You look like you're about to faint. It's not the first time it's happened. See you, Sam. I, I, goldfish brain. I already forgot if I said it or not. Oh, oh. Earlier, when I, I was in the Barrens, and I saw something like this too. It was like a dream, but only for a split second. Sounds like a vision, like something a prophet would see. I guess. The robot lady it was it was with earlier had a fancy word for it though. Wait. Let me check something. There we go. Oh, I was right. Huh? When I had the vision back of the barons, the book started glowing too. I wanted to see if I could get it to happen again and Where did you get that? Oh, uh I had it with me when I woke up in this world. It looks like one of our friends' books! Hi. Hey, Spaghetti! Nico holds things with their long sleeves. <laughs> yeah, dude. Except it's glowy. That's what the lady said, too. Hmm. Calm, let's see if we can do anything with the journal in this room. There it is. How did that book get there? Okay, I'm pretty sure it has to do with this journal now. 
The exact same thing happened back at the Barrens. Seriously? The journal was glowing, so I wanted to take a closer look at it. Then I found a page that looked like a drawing of the room we were in, and then... A minecart showed up. What? What? That sounds freaky. No, it doesn't! Colin must have done something! Still... Hey, we have a boat now! Just... Uh, I made five pr princess progress? Sick dicks, dude. We can go to the burial grounds and visit Mom again! But... Come on, Calamus! Nico and Colin are with us! Well, if Colin made the boat appear, it should be safe. What do you think, Colin? I mean, get in the boat, man. Here we go! Just straight line. And there's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, ah! Whoa. Look at that over there! Whoa! And there's a big door! They have bird feet. They're bird people! Yeah, I already knew that. They have wings. We made it. Come on, Alula. Let's go pay respects. Okay! All of the gravestones all of the gravestones have light bulbs on them. It's a gravestone. This is her grave. Ah, it's been years, but it's still hard, you know? Alula, why don't we look for some flowers for mom later? Yes! Mom, you're not gonna believe what just happened to you! We didn't make the Messiah! Hi, Nico! Hi. <laughs> Alright, I guess this has nothing to do with it. I'm gonna walk around, I guess, for a minute. Well, I guess, I guess from here I can, like, progress. Your Lulu voice is really loud, Con. I DON'T KNOW WHAT YOU'RE TALKING ABOUT! Sorry. <laughs> like, I have to, I feel like I have to have my mic at this volume, or else, like, everything else becomes too quiet. Colin is not PK. <laughs> it was very small, I got the wood sword. Oh, okay. Colin is not okay. I'm never okay, man. Uh, what does this person sound like? I would like chat's opinion on the matter. Go see a doctor. I'm not a robot this time. I don't necessarily need to do a voice mod, by the way, guys. I can I can do voices. He can't, looks kind of steampunky. I can roll that. A little Easter egg, the gravestones list the names of all of the uh, people who died while making this game. Is that real? <laughs> We'll go back and look at them after this conversation. It's you! You, um... My name is Nico. Ah! Nice, finally, to meet you. No, wait. It is a pleasure to be of acquaintance, at least, Nico. My name is Cedric. Oh! I'm supposed to be looking for you. Free now, pathway. I don't want it. <laughs> I'm supposed to be looking for you, too. I am aware. Prototype had contacted me earlier, saying that you would be on your way to the city. He did? He sent me a message after his memories were restored. Oh. He told me to wait in the city, but I thought it'd be faster for me to pick you guys up. Turns out that was a terrible idea. Pick us up? Wait, you can fly that plane? What is a plane? That thing behind you! Oh, you mean the flying machine? They're called planes in my world. 
Oh. I did not realize they existed in other worlds. Wait, are you that friend that Calamus and Alula was talking about then? Is this the same flying machine they were talking about? Oh, I assumed it would have been like an airplane, er, uh, an air hot air balloon or something. They don't list names at all, you goof. <laughs> it's possible that Ara was just making a goof, and uh, we all fell for it. I do not know anyone named Calamus or Alula. I think they're meant to be friends with my father. In previous iterations of the... Your father? He was the original owner of the flying machine. It's one of his greatest inventions, actually. Your dad invented planes? Flying machine. It's cool either way! <laughs> Thanks. But to answer your question earlier, your earlier question, I am proficient in operating the machine. But something weird happened to the engine when I was in the air earlier. I had to make an emergency. I had to make an emergency landing on this tiny island before I crashed into the city wall. You almost crashed? That's terrible. It was not pleasant, I will admit. I wonder if the engine problem has to do with the square particle disruptions. I checked, but there isn't any of that square stuff inside the machine itself. I, I promise I'm reading chat, by the way. I, I'm just kind of like... I don't want to, like, stop in the middle uh, and get brought into a tangent with chat. I, I want to try to, like, make as much progress as possible today. But I noticed some islands in the Glen are really messed up now. I just realized his voice is basically just Winston <laughs> from Overwatch. Winston reporting for duty. They are... Oh, guess I should have listened to Proto in the first place. Say, where is he? He said he was coming with you. Is he still back at the Meat Islands? Oh, actually, back at the Barrens, he... There's a cave in, and then a bunch of squares. He and the robot lady. Neither of them made it out. No. He did give me this, though. This desk he pulled from his head. Oh! Oh, thank goodness! He gave you his main hard drive. His main drive. As long as I have this, I should be able to bring him back. Really? Yes, I still get to do the voice! Woo! Proto Boy in dead. Proto Boy still alive! We living, boys. It's gonna be hard, but yes. You need all three of us for the big door. The... But first things first, we need to find a way to go to the city. Right. The city gate is kind of kaput now. If this machine was working, we could just fly right in there. I've isolated the issue with the machine, but I can repair it with the stuff I have on hand. Oh, what's wrong with that? The batter the battery in the engine is dead, and the engine has some gears that need to be replaced. <laughs> Do you think about the fix it if Khan and I help you find those things? Maybe. Problem is, the Glen isn't exactly a very high-tech area. I'm not sure if you'll be able to find anything so specialized here. We'll try anyway. Can't really do anything else right now. It's a con. I need you to stop your face from killing us. Sefji Moon, you mean? Spaghetti, would you be referring to. Hold on. Could you possibly be referring to uh, this? <laughs> That's right. If you weren't here for that one stream where I mentioned it, uh, Sefji Moon's an emote now, thanks to uh, Better TTV. So you just gotta type. Uh, hold on. Ah, oh, that doesn't show up for me. It's just text. Uh, you might have to install it on uh, Better TTV. You just type that, and it becomes a thing. Dude, it's true. 400 people died while working on one shot. I don't know if I buy that. <laughs> it's a flyer. I see. I don't have Better TTV. Yeah, install Better TTV, guys. You get cool motes for free. For free. Alright, I need to go find parts. I need a battery and a gearbox. I'm guessing I probably won't find it here. So I'm gonna go back to the gate. The bridge is broken. Not getting in that way. Go back in here and have a walk around. Uh, you are needed to hold it up along with John and Danny. <laughs> but there has, we need four of us still. Who's the fourth? Can't go that way. 
It takes four dudes to hold up the moon. Me? You? As long as I'm back, as long as I can take a break every now and then, the stream. I don't know if I want to do that for my job. I go fight the moon. Hello, person. Two children reside near here. I know, I've seen them already. Stab it in the eye. That's my eye, dude. Don't stab my eye. Savior, you're here to see me? Hold on, wait. I have an idea. This is a stupid idea, but I'm gonna do it. Also, you're hearing double, guys? I'm sorry. Baby? That's too much. What about this one? This one, maybe? It's kind of goofy. I like it. Seth G's on a field day with the voice mods. You know it, dude. Okay. You're here to see me? What happened to you? Hold on. I need to concentrate. The islands will collapse if I don't do something. That's why the vines. You're making the vines grow. Is that why there are vines everywhere? Are you trying to hold the land together? My powers, the best I could do, yes. I want baby, please. Does anyone else in chat want baby for this voice? Because I will do it if chat wants it. I'm not the one who has to listen to it. Sure, yeah. So there's two for baby. Do it, Con. All right, I'll do it. Um, there's derp coin exchange. God damn it, everyone, everyone, I'm gonna owe everybody derp coin next time it gets up. Uh, Ara, derp coin. Spag. Not slag, spag, derp coin. And then one more reminder. Sorry, guys. Uh... Do it like that, like seven two. Um, delete derp coin exchange. Derp coin will come back someday, guys. I promise. Just it's not going to be today. All right. Anyways, people want baby, so you got it. My powers. The best I could do. Yes. That's... Should I leave the sun here for you? I know you wanted to see it. Tempting. But I mustn't. The sun brings me comfort, but... Stress is good. But this fear is good. Makes me strong. Lines grow faster. But... If I'm at ease... The vines might retreat. If I'm at ease, the vines might retreat. They're all in danger, Savior. The villagers, the children, my final hours mustn't go to waste. The people deserve to live, even if just for another day. Man, Nico's being confronted with some serious life themes today. <laughs> I, um, come play a Zelda game, like, emulate sometime. You know how I feel about emulators, man. If people, if people want it, I'll do it, but, like, I'd be worried about, like, installing, like, a, something that gives me a virus. I'd have to talk to somebody about doing it. If people want it, I'll do it. I, um, have something to ask of you. Yes? It looks like most of the bridges around the Glen are broken, and... That's right, the bridges. You need to cross them on your pilgrimage. Would you like me to fix them? Yeah. Is it possible? Difficult. But 
such as and very specific locations of a line. You need to find the right points. Lines must be very strong too. And undertake. Ah. But possible. I intend to use the last of my strength. Please stand back. Nico's like, oh shit. What happened? Are you okay? Are you... Nico's having a rough day today, guys. Oh, Nico. It's kind of fucked, though, because at the end of the day, like, they aren't real. That's why I wanted the baby voice. Alright, well now we have bridges, I guess. So let's go back up. Um, this is a dead end. Yeah, I, we're at two, I know we're at two hours, by the way, guys. I'm, I'm gonna go long today. There's a bed here. Um, I'm actually a little worried to sleep in the bed, so I'm gonna not. Uh, real Pickrum is live. You know what the spells? I don't. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, it's spell. Never mind. It spells something. There you go. If you're seeing the bed, you might get a cool cutscene dream. That's true. I didn't sleep in I didn't sleep in the last bed we saw though. I was more gonna save it in case I decided to get off here. I'll sleep in it, I guess. I'm a little tired from walking. Is alright if I take a nap? Yes. And that's gonna close one shot. You gotta open it back up. No cutscene. So I, I just I can just sleep as needed now. There's no cutscenes. It's Markiplier. Ah, oh, okay. I don't even watch Markiplier at all, so it's not as big a deal for me. God, I don't remember where anything is in the glens. It's like, hey, it's Markiplier. I'm good at spelling shit backwards. The bridge to the forest was just restored. The village evacuees should be able to find better fishing spots here. The plant spirit is really looking out for us, isn't she? Yeah. Oh. Little do they know, this island is screwed. <laughs> oh, you're the traitor guy. That's a guy? I th I gave this guy the valley girl voice. I didn't know this was a dude. Nah, fuck it, we're committing now. Sure am. You here to trade? Because if you are, then I got bad news for you. A lot of my stuff is back at my cart, which was sadly abandoned when I was running for my life. So my collection is very limited right now. Oh. Uh... Quite is live? Dude, girls don't have eye scars. Uh, is that so? Would you like to bet? Is that a gamble you're willing to take? Right there. Ice scar. She is fiction. As is the guy we are currently talking to. <laughs> Girls can have eye scars. <laughs> Go watch Ruby, by the way. Ruby's cool. You are fiction. I am. Oh, fuck. 
managed to, you know, actually, Afterglow said Valley Guy in chat. I'm gonna, I'll, I'm gonna attempt this. Managed to grab some of my favorite things before I left, though. Oh, uh, th it doesn't work. I don't know how to possibly begin to do it. Oh, uh, do you have anything like gears? Gears? Like the metal spitty things? I don't think I have anything like that. Wait. I do have this box that you can wind up and play a song. That's a music box. Yeah. I mean, there's lots of little bits, little metal bits in there. Oh, that might work. But I'm not sure if I want to trade it away. It's one of my favorite things. Aw. Oh, what am I saying? You're the savior. Things have been getting bad around here lately. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to Valley Girl. Come, maybe you just maybe you just exist in my head. I certainly hope not. Imagine if Arch forgets about me one day and suddenly I'm just like, poof, he's <laughs> just gone. It's like, where'd he go? Oh god! If I don't help you, I might not even be around much longer. You need to save this. You need to save this to save the world, right? Take it. Ah, thank you. Perfect. What a day. Alright, I'm assuming I'm good to go back now. Alright, I'm gonna go back to the graveyard. Looks like his ram is suffering from a memory leak. No, that ram was always spinning. <laughs> he was always spinning since the world was burning. <laughs> If anyone gets that reference, good on you. Sorry, I forgot. What parts do we need to find again? Oh yeah, we need a battery still too. He always makes ram puns. Oh, <laughs> uh, I I never even I never even put that together. Jesus. I'm a dummy. Alright, where else can we go? We need a battery. Can't go that way. Maybe we can? No. Wishful thinking. What if we all live in a, sim a simulation? Don't get existential on me now, Spaghetti. Uh, my dad just sent me a text saying, Watch PS5 price and release date leaked for both PS5 consoles. Um, the last time I did PS5 React stuff, like, actually both times I did PS5 React stuff, like, I got copyright struck. So I'm gonna hold off on that. Um, that would be, this would be back down, right? I guess that's all I can do now. Alright, I gave you that info on your PS5 Discord channel. Yeah, but I don't pay attention to it as much as I should. I don't participate very much in my own Discord. Even though I really should. Oh yeah, I just remembered. I have something I need to do in Animal Crossing today. I, I got my new room on Sunday. I have I have a second story now. Because I play that game slow and steady. Because I just don't have time. But like... I don't care about PS5 money more, to be honest. You already replied to it. Did I? Is this just Goldfish Brain again? Oh, that's right! You did tell me about this. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I found I uh, I found the Okay, so I found a news article. Okay, I didn't find the specific video. I remember now. <laughs> also be out November 20th, but buying consoles at launch is 100% not worth it. I agree with that. Yeah, I don't like to buy consoles much at launch anymore. Uh just because I want to wait the launch games have a history of just like they're they just got the console they've been developing they don't know how to fully optimize the hardware yet you know what i mean so it makes developing for it harder at the beginning and it's usually it's just not as good at the start give it some time give it some time to grow okay i need to find a battery now oh there's a bridge here i didn't realize this was a bridge that was a dead end 
Some of my favorite Nintendo games are launch games. I'm not saying that all launch games are bad. I uh, just that oftentimes launch games tend not to be as good. I want to wait to have like a lot of games to play on it. And then I'm going to get a PS5. For sure, like the moment Kina comes out, I'm getting a PS5. I might even get uh, a PS5 a little bit before Kina comes out so that I can like play some games that are already on it ahead of time. Was Super Mario 64 a launch game for N64? Yes, it was. I didn't know that. I actually have uh, Smash Brothers on the N64. It was hard to come by. Kim was that Pikmin looking game? Uh, it was like, it's Pikmin mixed with so much other shit though. It's like, it's one of the trailers where if you watch our SFG cast we did, uh, it, it, it's one of the few trailers where I, where I was just like, I can't, I don't, I can't find anything wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. It just looks good. <laughs> I have nothing to nitpick. <laughs> also, do you know about that Zelda animation's a terrible fate? I do not. So I just drew around this bridge, almost as if it was an intentional repair effort. Yeah. I gotta find a battery. I gotta steal the battery. Oh, okay, made by the same people. Oh, interesting. Hello, person. This is the main generator of the Glen. Hello. What you happen to know where I can find a... We're going to have to unplug the battery from the generator, which is going to unplug all of the robots in this area. Mm. <laughs> I don't like this, guys. It's kind of an emergency. I do not know what a flying machine is. But any sort of large machinery would require a high-capacity power cell. For example... The generator in this room utilizes such a device. <sighs> All right, I almost forgot. We had to fix the battery for this thing in the bare incident we called. If this is an emergency for living beings, you can use the battery from the generator. Oh, wait, but if we take the battery here, all of you guys would lose power, wouldn't you? Maybe Colin and I should go find another one. Negative. This is the only this is the only battery in the Glen powerful enough to be used as a standalone unit. If it is a dire situation, then do what you must. Oh. I guess we have no choice but to take this, Colin. We depowered it. Do you want me to press the button, Con? What button? It's fine, Sefji. You've already killed two robots. Don't, don't, don't guilt trip me like that. Damn harsh. Can I have you seen the trailer for Majora's Mask? Is there a new one? That's not the 3DS version. Anyways, I got everything I need. Nope, it's just really cool. Uh, I've seen it, but I don't remember it. Alright, I'm gonna... I uh, Honestly, at the rate we're going, I feel like we could maybe even finish this whole game today. I'm gonna, So I'm gonna go for it. Okay. So I need charge battery. We found a battery. Oh, nice. I honestly wasn't expecting it. It's from the generator in one of the islands. The research station? Yeah. It was powering all the robots there. Ye, town is short actually. <laughs> Heads up con, I think you're about a, at a halfway point. Um Honestly, I'm just gonna keep I'm gonna keep going. I feel good. Let's just keep trucking away at this. Maybe we can just finish this off in one go. It was powering all the robots there. I felt bad for taking it. Ah. Uh, we can always just give it back later. Alright. We still need a few gears to put this engine back together. Please what you must to find some. You mean gears like these? We found a music box. It should have gears in it, right? 
I assume so, but... This looks like one of the ones that my father made. Hold on, I had a burp. Your dad makes music boxes too?! My dad makes a lot of things. Where did you get this from, by the way? A trader from the village gave it to me. I see. I remember father saying that he used to trade with some of the people here. He did always love traveling this world, despite... Well... Ah, sorry, I started rambling. The gears in there are compatible with the, the engine, although it pains me to have to take it apart. Oh, I'm sorry. It's fine. Looks like the flying machine has a chance after all. I just have to assemble the pieces now, but it might take a while. Do you mind keeping me company? Uh, every world waits for a hero, but this world can't wait much longer. Nice, that's a good one-liner. Are you saying you want the stream to be, uh, one shot? <laughs> By the way, I gotta stream from my PC to my phone if I want to watch the stream without lag. Interesting. How's it going? Slow. The connectors in the battery were not designed for this type of engine, so I have to ship around some of these ports. And there's this bolt that keeps getting stuck in... Ah. Uh, don't worry, I'm making decent progress. We should be able to make it to the city by tonight. Twitch's app just lags the stream for some reason. Hmm. Like a desktop app? Because if so, just watch it on the browser. For 72 hours, the mask will hide you. Interesting. Yeah, I... I'd be down to finish this whole game in one shot. Just I'll just make that the goal of today. Uh, but I would, I would have to stop for food in a minute here. Like, I can eat and play. I just gotta, like, get something to eat. If you say so. What will happen once we get there? Back first. And then we need to go find one more person. You may have already met her, actually. Do you remember her from the last time you were in this world? Librarian person? I... What does she look like? This is going to sound strange, but she is a fox. Oh! The fox person! That's right! Oh, I do remember talking to a fox at one point. You've met Rue? The memories are still really blurry, though. I see. <sighs> it's just hard, you know? Proto told me to think of this world like a dream. But then I got get so caught up with, and I just kind of forget. I forget that everything here is supposed to be not real. And then I remember. And then I re just re get really sad. I know this is for me to go home, but knowing that none of it mattered in the first place, am I just trapped here for no reason? Proto also told me not to ask anyone in the world about this. Saying how they don't understand. But what about him? How did he know? How did how do you know? Aren't you guys all supposed to be code? Well, I'm not sure what to even believe in any Eve anymore. I wish Rue was here. She's so much better at explaining this sort of thing. I'm doing a terrible job of it. I bet Proto was even less tactful, wasn't he? I'm afraid he must risk sounding callous, but... I'm afraid he must risk sounding callous, but... Please, you need not concern yourself with how real everything is for now. The plan is already in motion. We cannot allow for distractions. Father is putting everything into this one last run of the world. Fa is Father the dev? Interesting thought. The last chance for him to fix everything. Your father is involved in the world machine? You could say that. The acceleration of square particle anomalies was not accounted for at all, though. The patch was only built to accommodate the normal rate they appear, but... They're accumulating at frightening speeds now. Proto even lost his body. Thankfully, he gave you the disc just in time. So, what happened to him anyway? What happens to anyone who gets caught in the squares? I only know it's bad. Well, you know how the simulation works, right? How everything is code? Specifically... Everything is generated from pre-existing code. I think his dad is the clover of the author. Yeah, I think so. But I wonder if maybe the author is also just like the dev of the game. The squares can cause damage to that code. Most of the time, irreversible damage. Father has lost some friends in previous iterations of the simulation. It took him forever to develop the current, much more stable version. 
You're making it sound like your dad built the simulation himself. Wait, did he? Yeah. But how? If everyone in this world is code, how can he build himself? That's, um, not really what happened. So, what happened? Like I said, you should have concerned yourself with... With... Alright, alright. Did Prototype ever tell you about the old world? He did say something about being built to great, greet the messiah of the old world. I was, um, too caught up with the other stuff at the time to think about it. Ah, uh, you know of it at least, then. Alright, here we go. My father, myself, the other two. None of us are part of the simulation itself. Interesting. Our home world, the real world, was actually destroyed a long time ago. In the years leading up to the Calamity, the sci scientists from all over the world tried to stop it, but the outlook was bleak. A vague prophecy about a messiah from another world became everyone's last bastion of hope. Told you we were all in a simulation. You're right. A vague prophecy about a messiah from another world became everyone's last bastion for hope. Prophet bot, or prototype, was built to predict the future about the specifics of this messiah. But as his predictions turned out, the messiah would not have been able to arrive to our world in time. In fact, the messiah would not even have been born before our world ended. Disheartened, most people abandoned their research and resolved to peacefully live out their final years. But some people did the opposite. Drink of water here. Even though saving the world was impossible, they didn't want our existence to be in vain. And that's where my father came in. With the last of his resources, he built his most ambitious project yet, the World Machine. A large, detailed facsimile of the old world, generated from a pool of memories collected from everyone he knew. After a heavy amount of modification and an added narrative, my father was able to convert the entire structure into code. How did that a code escape the old world? I have no idea. What I do know is, there is no equipment back home that was powerful enough to run the code independently. So, aside from the standard hardware, it, is al it also needed to borrow the mental processing abilities of a living person. Father used himself for that, during the initial testing phases. By the way, nice background. Thanks, it's, uh, it's Sombra <laughs> from Overwatch. It's a Sombra-themed background. Like I said, it took many iterations for him to make the experience stable enough. But as you can see, it's, even that's breaking down. Ah. Uh, Father caught on to the issue in the last minute, but did not have enough time to fix it. After the world ended, the code just kind of ended up... floating in the void, indefinitely. Waiting for a willing operator to install it onto their own hardware. Colin? Yeah. The operator, Colin would then generate the universe using the code, becoming God in the process. So, Khan was the living person you needed to borrow. No. That would be you. But why me? I should have asked that question a long time ago, shouldn't I? I do not know. We really need to get going. It's fixed. We can leave in the next five minutes if you are ready. Alright. I understand if you are upset. But please, try to understand. My father is doing this to help all of us. And that includes you, Nico. The fact that you can't even go back home, I'm sure it upsets him greatly. It's... <sighs> the world means a lot to him, you know. So, how does flying work? Wait, don't these machines already exist in your world? You sure I know what to expect? Not really. I've only, I've only heard about them. They're usually a lot bigger than this one anyway. Ah, uh, well, a word of precaution before we take to the air. Please try not to panic. It takes a few minutes of getting used to, but it's not that bad once you're in the air. I'll try. Now I gathered that the quotes are from Majora's Mask. Oh, I should probably tell Calamus and Alula where I'm going. You mean those two running over here now? Nico! I'm starting to get a headache, guys, from hunger. Bad news! The boat is gone! What? It's the squares! It looks like they're headed in this direction. That's... fast. Calamus, right? Yeah? How bad is it? Doesn't seem to be of immediate danger. Then it is of priority that I take you to the city first, Nico. But what about them? 
I can make a detour later and drop you guys off in the city too if you want. The city is better equipped to handle the squares. You'll be safer there. Well, you can end the stream if you need to eat. We'll understand. I, I mean, I, I was saying I could like take a break and just grab food and come back. And I'll just eat and stream at the same time. The city is better equipped to handle the squares. You'll be safer there. You're taking us to the city! If you wish. Oh, yeah! All right. I'll be back here in an hour, so please wait for me until then. You guys sure you'll be fine here? Mm-hmm. The squares are still moving pretty slowly for now. All right, then. Guess we'll run into each other again soon. Yeah, I need a job. I need a job, too, man. I'm ready to go. All right. Plane! We built this city on rock and roll.